here if you see day using the script will perform you know how to open a vm virtual machine automatically without you know you entering any password or username now for this purpose i've already you created one xml with some dummy information like here if you see i've created one xml where under general the username and password is present then for different environments like production test or assist i have a workstation number and an ip address this ip address can be anything of your choice but here i have written it as a local host or something like that now let's try to access that and then make changes is it same okay. let's take all it as settings so get content and then let's all the file location so here i have this you press shift plus right click and then copy as path and then path if i run this now i should have information in this set things thing now we also need three other variables that is vm name user name Right. password how are we going to get that now to understand we should know where do we have the vm name so first the vm name is present here so it is under config production here we have it so i will say the vm name equals to settings dot config dot right let's check we have it then dot Workstation. I run this. Okay. Now, what is that you want? If you want IP, you can access with IP. But here, I want a name, so I'll call it as dot name. Here, if you see, and we have name. Now, take username. Okay, have username. Here, the username is under general, so it will be dollar settings dot on fake. Part general config part general dot username. Let's check. Okay, perfect. Similarly, we'll have dollar settings dot config dot general dot password. Now we have all the three variables in all the three environments. Now let's also do a read host into the VM name. Now let's try to run. There it says this. Okay. Now comes the main information with respect to connecting it to the respective servers. Okay. So CMD key and then copy it from the internet. This is the name where the server will be in this VM name. User will be the user name. Password will be the user. There you see. Yeah, I am connected to the server. 